we're in Vegas! Our customer Sylvia brought us all the way over here to Vegas and she sent us a video of the squealing rats in the walls. So this really, really intrigued us. Sylvia explained to us that, hey look guys, I, I don't know if I can depend on a local company would you guys come out and solve my problem once and for all so that's why we're here so it's a little fun fact about us uh, we were the first roving reporters for that entertainment magazine show called extra they flew us first class to Paris to cover the fashion shows there it was an amazing time so we went from fashion shows to now rats how did that happen <laughs> All right, guys, let's go meet Sylvia, see what's going on in her house. Doesn't want to be on camera, so... So this house was renovated. When you purchased it, it was already renovated? From yes, the... completely gutted. It's like a distressed property. This is the wall where I've heard the most activity. Yeah, when you sent me that email with that, they were... There's... And that sound is it's typically right around here. Right here? Okay. This high? Yeah. Okay. And here is where the tub is. I'll show you in a minute for the bathroom. Oh, got it. Hmm. Can I smell it? And it smells more musky in here, musty in here now to me. Mm -hmm. But the reason why I even started looking was because of a strong ammonia smell. Well, a lot of times, if you've seen our videos, um, anytime there's a massive renovation, a lot of times the plumbers have cut vents inside the wall. So if they are sewer rats, then they're getting their food source somewhere else. That's why the traps aren't being effective or right. deployed. All right, our team members are pulling up. Viva Las Vegas. Viva. <laughs> good morning, guys. You made it? Yeah. Welcome to Vegas. Hey. How's it Welcome going? to Vegas. All right. Okay, guys, so this is the affected bathroom right here. So we're going to go ahead, check the vent that's coming right off of that bathroom. So you guys can see the new ABS from the remodel. Who knows about the galvanized, David, that's in the wall because there's two clean outs. I'm going to show you to the outside where Sylvia showed me. No smell there. This is the other bathroom that she was talking about. That, uh, hmm. Little faint, little faint smell. It's got a sewer smell with that animal smell. Let's check this one right here. Hmm. Nope. And they've already covered all of the uh, the exhaust fans as well, which is good. There's no trees that are hanging over. Those are some of the things that we look for. The chimney, that's got a cover on it, so that's good. She had a water main break in her front yard. So guys have been here for the last couple of days jackhammering, and so the squealing has literally neutralized because of all of the noise. A lot of times what could happen is the rats can get to their pups and then move them into another direction or another location if they feel that there's any sort of threat to the pup. So hopefully in this case it didn't happen, but we're gonna get set up right now and start opening up these walls. This is just so dust as we're making the incision, dust doesn't get in between our ram board and the floor. We gotta be kind of quiet because the more disruption, these rats can relocate, so shh. While the crew's getting set up, I'm gonna just take a quick peek in the attic and see what we have here. This is one of my pet peeves here with service providers putting all of their markings on access panels right here. That's why we wear gloves and then we take a clean pad and clean it. Service providers should not be leaving marks like this for customers' houses. Ooh, what's up there? A lot of uh, insulation that's just torn up. There's PEX piping too. So I'm not seeing any evidence of any rat activity up in the attic. So it's gonna be really interesting to when we perform that smoke test and see if in fact the old galvanized piping is inside that wall where we're about to make an incision because I don't see any. What I was looking for is obviously rat droppings, odor, I'm not getting any of those two, but I'm also seeing the ABS new vent. I'm not seeing any of the older vents. So where are those? Did they cut them ground level? Did they cut them in the wall and left them open? Who knows? That's why making an incision and opening up those walls is super important. Dave, what are you doing? 
Just get one of my infamous blow dart ready to go. You think you're gonna? Bam. Wow. Well, I wanna, just in case we open up that tub and there's one that runs behind the backside of that tub that we yeah. don't have any access to. It's right here. We're gonna place some ram board here too, because again, look at, those are boot marks from contractors. I got my little rat spear here. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to use this. Let's find out. All right, as you know, in all our other videos, guys, rats love to nest underneath the tub skirts. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the wall directly behind the tub, and then we're gonna start working our way this way, which she's hearing the squealing more on that side. All right, guys, we're all set up. We've completely protected the property. Again, we've got a discharge hose here. So as we're vacuuming up all the particulates, we've got everything being discharged outside. We've got our HEPA air scrubber right here. And then we've got our little ammunition with our little spear, we've got our blow gun. And then what we're gonna do is, this is a cool little camera. It was actually uh, invented by an attorney that handled a lot of cases on bed bugs, but amazing technology behind this. Look at the extension on this here, and then the camera actually bends. So if you're a pest control company, we'll leave the description below here. You might wanna consider getting one of these. They run about 85 to $100, but well worth it, especially on a tub like this where you don't have access telescope camera, slide it under there, you're gonna be able to see everything. The other cool feature about this as well is it can download it straight to the computer so that way you can document all along the way here so you can capture the footage for your clients. So anyhow, something to consider if you're in the bed bug business or pest control industry, they're awesome. So here's a little hack you guys we like to do. You can, we have a Sawzall. If you switch the blade around, it gives you a lot more access to the wall. So just wanted to offer that to you. All right, guys, before we open up, now's the time to place your bets. Leave those comments right now on how many rats. I don't care if they're little pups, big rats, small rats. How many are we gonna catch behind this tub here? Is it gonna be zero, one, two, three, four? We've seen up to 15. Leave that number right now. Sylvia's betting on 10. I'm gonna guess at least five. All right, guys, no more bets. Okay, guys, so here's that bed bug fiber here. Uh, go ahead and insert the camera, you can see. Oh yeah, right there. There it looks like the Norway rat. You can just tell the the way it's got the round blunts. All right, let me see if I can get it. And if there's tub more, see if we can see anything. Yeah, more droppings there. All right, guys, so there's really nothing here other than the insulation and the, the rat poop. So what we're gonna do is go behind that sink now and open that up, and at least we'll get two things. We'll see if there's a nest above the sink area, but also with that being exposed, it allows us to do the smoke test to see if there's any breaches in the line. So let's get the wall opened up behind the lavatory here. All right, guys, in the meantime, if we open up and they do happen to be in there and they run underneath this tub, we're gonna put these sticky pads in there. Take any chance of, of them hiding from us. Okay, we're good. All right, here we go. Oh, the pipe wide open like that. Look at that. Pipe wide open. Look at that, you guys. Yeah, look at that, guys. Look at, look at the amount of droppings here. Look at this. Look at that. Look inside this wall. Suspect area right here, guys. Look at that right there. All right, while well, Thompson and Dave are in there, we're getting the smoke machine all ready. We're gonna introduce the smoke up under that vent because it's closest to this bathroom. We're gonna see if this ABS new system is in fact connected to the pipe that's in the wall where the contractor just cut and left open. All right, as you can see, we've opened up this entire wall here and there is, again, massive amount 
of defecation right here. You can see Sylvia got really lucky because this is Peck's piping and there's smear marks. Let me get a better shot for you. Look at that. See the smear marks, that yellowish? And then right, right here on these brackets. And then down here, just a ton of rat droppings here. And we continue and look at underneath the toilet area, the amount of droppings underneath the tub. Look at that, all through here. And then again, this is the tub here. And I was able to get my light in there and be able to see the back there. I'm not seeing any activity. Typically sewer rats, especially with the Norway rats, they're, they tend to stay pretty close to their entry point mm -hmm. and then they'll nest in this area here mm -hmm. inside the wall and that's their their entry and exit point but what happens a lot of times is they'll grab their pups mm -hmm. and take them really so if you hear any you know squealing mm -hmm. in the walls yeah. those are little baby pups they're very protective of them they'll grab them and then they'll send them take them down the sewer pipe and, and protect them whoa yes if they weren't so gross, it'd be kind of fascinating. <laughs> it, I know, I know it. But that's probably what happened here. Okay. Okay, tell David that we're we're good to... Uh... Smoke's running, Dave. Okay, so we're getting smoke. So this does confirm that this old system is still connected to the new sewer pipe. So that's a good sign. Jimmy was right. Remember in the very beginning of the video? I know. Asked Sylvia. I told, them, I told the audience that already, brother. I just want the accolades, guys because you've lost the last three. Right. So we're not getting any of the live rats, you guys, because I think Sylvia, unfortunately, right before we arrived a couple days ago, had a main water break. So all of the jackhammering and all of that caused, I think, the rat inside this wall to get scared and they ran off. So a little unfortunate about that, but good thing is we found the issue. What'd you find, Dave? Some uh, insulation in here. So I don't know if that's a possible nest area. Got it. So we're opening up a little higher because Dave crawled the attic and saw some uh, suspect potential areas. So we're going to investigate a little further. Rat droppings here. You can see some urine stains. All right, Dave's using our enzyme to decontaminate. This really, what it does too, is it not only decontaminates, but it also encapsulates. So as we're vacuuming, contains all the dust particles. You want to let it sit for about five to ten minutes and let it saturate. That way it really does a great job of killing all the bacteria, viruses, all of that bad stuff. We found a second hole. Oh, look at that. The cardboard was covering it. Cardboard was covering it. Yeah, we were vacuuming and we found this hole right here. So two breaches. Two holes, yep. I'm wondering if the other bathrooms are the same way, Jimmy. I just don't understand how the contractor can contractor leave that. contractor can just leave that wide open like that. Yeah, just... Guys, that's why it's important. When you do a renovation, you have to make sure that in city inspectors aren't going to catch that. So it's your job as a homeowner, project manager, if the contractor is going to leave stuff like this. Now that you watch our videos over and over again, this should really give you guys some good insight as to what you can do if you're renovating a bathroom, a kitchen, anything in your home that is going to require cutting the existing piping off. Don't ever allow your contractor to patch up without you inspecting because this will prevent this. Dave's a neat break, so he's cleaning all the pipes as well. Un consejo para mi gente. Mira, cuando tiene muchos de los ratones en la pared, por ejemplo, necesito checar los pipas muy bien. Mira este. Este pipa son nuevos. Para aquí, Jimmy. Aquí es perfecto, ok? Pero mira, cuando estás haciendo los, los remodels o está cambiando los pipas, mira, la, la contracto no olvidar para uh, uh, tapar este pipa. Entonces los ratones vienen de la ciudad, entra en la pared, está comiendo y mira, también es muy importante con este plástico pipa con agua, los ratones... Quiere agua, entonces va a chupar los pipas aquí y... Hay veces que el agua está liqueando en toda la casa. So es un desmadre, right, David? Es, es un desmadre. Es, es un desmadre como tú no tienes idea. That was a good Spanish lesson. Thank you. Muchas Mucho gracias. gracias. Para mi gente. Vámonos a continuar. Ya te bajo. Para mi gente. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is, it's getting late in the day. We don't have the cap here. Mm. So what we're going to do is 
cut some screen and we're gonna create a barrier around this pipe and we're gonna put our game camera right here. We're gonna put some peanut butter at the top of this uh, barrier here and just see if we get any activity. It'll tell us how big the rat is. They are coming in through the pipe again to confirm. So it's gonna be interesting on what we find. All right guys, so I just took a stainless steel band, looped it the same diameter as the pipe, drop this in, tighten it up. All right, so this is nice and tight here. Now we're just gonna take some, fold this in, so we'll get some peanut butter. We'll just shove it right in here, give him a little food. Okay, this hole here, we went ahead and screened it off inside, and now we're gonna inject some spray foam. All right, so Jimmy's setting up the model MJ536859J J LPF Browning game camera. Just kidding on that model number, just in case you didn't get my joke. All right, so we're gonna set the game camera right here, facing our peanut butter cage. Cage here. So we'll see if we can see some activity. Now this is that. Vegas, so this is, we created the UFC rat cage. Mayweather, you may have some competition coming up your way. How much money you got? All right, guys, it looks like the casinos took the house again. We lost all our bets, but there's still another bet left, and that is now place your bets if you think that the game camera is going to see something tonight. We won't know until tomorrow, so let's wait. Super excited to see what we have in that camera, but to be honest with you, I'm not feeling too optimistic, but you never know with rats, so let's go check it out. We, uh, we checked the footage and there was no activity. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this and then properly cap it off so these rats will never come back into uh, Sylvia's house again. So the other pest control company said that the rats more than likely were coming through the siding. So what was good about Sylvia is she questioned it and said, well, wait a minute, prove to me where they're coming in. I don't see any smear marks. So they definitely were not coming in through the siding. So if you are engaged with a pest control company and they're telling you and making assumptions on certain things, have them prove it to you. Have them show you exactly whether it's cameras, whether it's smear marks, but they need to prove to you that they're actually coming in through the entry point that they found. Don't just take their word for it. Hey guys, we got a two inch steel cap here. Slide it down like that. A lot of these caps are made of rubber. So it's, again, rats can chew through the rubber. So that's why you want, always want to consider using a metallic material like this. All right, so today is the completion of sanitizing. And the good thing is our enzyme really did a good job with removing the odor inside that wall that we opened up. So we're in the bathroom. She says she still has a scent of a smell here in the bathroom adjacent to the wall. So what we're gonna use is a natural product made by Earth Care. And it claims that it's odorless, does not mask odors. It actually permanently eliminates them. The good thing is, is that, and again, we're gonna be testing this product out on more jobs, but it says absorbs dead rodent odors even if carcass is not removed. It also removes a lot of other odors as well, such as, you know, urine, feces, musty mildew, cigarette smoke, garbage, more important for us, dead rodents. So what we're gonna do is, this covers about 100 square feet. I'm just gonna go ahead and hang it on the curtain rod here. They're not using this bathroom until the odor's removed. So let's see if this product really removes the odors. All right guys, so peace of mind, Sylvia wanted us to do some exclusion work up here because this was sort of a runway from here up to the attic area. We're gonna go ahead and uh, add our pure black. Mixed in with our metals. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and begin the fogging underneath the tub and then we're gonna work our way across and really deodorize this with our Twinzyme. Okay, we're gonna now fog the attic while we're up here. We're gonna leave our containment because Sylvia has her own drywall guy that's gonna go ahead and we're gonna allow this to air out for a few days. And uh, we're gonna leave all of our floor protection, everything up here, so that way um, she's completely protected from all the dust. All right, we're gonna go ahead and clean this attic access. All the smudge marks from all the other. What happens is the contractors are out working, then they come in, 
create these uh, imprints on the drywall. Thank you for coming out. I did. I figured it was a shot in the dark. I saw you didn't have an office out here. And right. When you said you could come out, I was like, awesome. This is great because, like I said, no. I mean, I don't know what your thoughts are on having an office out here, but nobody does it. We called a couple other places. They're like, we'll come out and like trap and bait, and we could even go in and cut it out a wall to take out whatever's in there, but they won't do anything else. Got it, yeah. And okay. I'm like, well, now I'm gonna have a gaping wall full of rat poop and not knowing how to dispose of anything properly right. or how to clean it properly. And right. then plumbers, of course, are like, yeah, we'll fix whatever the plumbing issue is, but then you're waiting, right? You're waiting for- You're having to coordinate all these yes. different people. Yeah. yeah. And of course the power of the internet is what it is. And I saw all these awful videos that I just became addicted to watching rats getting <laughs> caught by you guys. Okay. Thank you so much. And You're for welcome. all even just the the responsiveness and like that's unfortunately out here it's just not yeah. like that. that's not the case. I mean, like you responded straight away and the texting and the updates and the hey, this is what's going on. Thanks so much for that it's, feedback. Yeah, that's no, awesome. that's awesome. Appreciate that. All right, guys, a bit disappointing. We drove all the way here to Vegas and no rats. We were hoping to pull those squealing rats out of those walls, but nevertheless, we did find the entry point here, and that was really, really what's awesome. That's also, yeah, the rewarding. You could see the relief on uh, Sylvia's, Sylvia's face. face as well. Hey, guys, leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear what you'd have to say about this journey. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll, we'll see, see you on the next one. one.